Hey everyone, so today we're going to be reviewing the simple harmonic motion content for the AP Physics 1 exam. So simple harmonic motion doesn't account for a big percentage of uh, the national exam, but it's still a nice refresher in terms of pretty much every unit, right? Like forces, energy, um, and a bunch of stuff. So simple harmonic motion, so what exactly is it? So it's whenever you have what is a repetitive motion, and it's going to occur because of a restoring force, which is always trying to push the system back to its equilibrium position. So in these examples, you'll see conservation of energy, uh, negligible friction, and stuff like that. So a couple key vocab terms that you're going to need to know for this unit is period. So that's the time it takes to complete one full cycle um, and pretty much return back to its starting position after it osculates. Then you have frequency, and that, that's sort of like the inverse of that. That's just the number of cycles per second. So you can see the equation of T equals one over frequency. Um, and then you have amplitude, right? That's just the maximum position from the equilibrium position that your block or your pendulum reaches um, when it osculates. So let's first look at a pendulum. So the equation for a pendulum is two pi times square root of length of the pendulum uh, over the gravitational constant. So something to know about the equation is that it is independent of the amplitude, right? So if we zoom in on this ball, we can see that what is the restoring force is the tangential component of Fg. And this is the uh, force right here. Um, you can see that mg sine theta is what gives you that tangential force. And that's going to push that uh, pendulum back towards its equilibrium position. It's not going to stop there. Um, because there's conservation of energy, right? So it's going to go from its maximum amplitude position to its maximum negative amplitude position. And as you increase that angle of uh, release, the initial release position, that's always going to affect the uh, mg sine theta for the tangential component of Fg, and therefore your restoring force is also going to change. Next, let's talk about the horizontal mass spring system. So this is frictionless. So the equation for a spring is just two pi times square root of mass over the spring constant. It is also independent of the amplitude. So here's a nice diagram. It shows that initially your block is at rest in what is called equilibrium. All right, but let's say we stretch it out. So now it has spring potential energy. Um, so at this position, the acceleration is going to be negative max, um, the force is going to be maximum, and your velocity is going to be zero. So this isn't really representative of you pulling it and stretching it to that position, but this is just when it's osculating, when it reaches that position, these are the uh, standard values. So if it goes from position two to three, when it's osculating, when it reaches the equilibrium position, your force on it is going to be zero, and therefore your acceleration is also zero. And that's also when you reach your maximum velocity. Um, when it reaches the other side, the other side, that negative amplitude, it's very similar to position two where the force is the maximum, but the acceleration is also maximum except now it's in the positive direction because you're trying to go to the right side, right? To bring that uh, mass on the spring back towards that equilibrium position and then your velocity is zero. All right, so here is a table summary of just general simple harmonic motions. And on this side, we have some motion graphs. So these motion graphs are just a way to represent motion. And we can see that it's representative of this spring mass system that is osculating. So if we look at it, position two represents that maximum position away. Um, you see here, position two, maximum distance uh, away from that equilibrium position and therefore at the maximum amplitude in the positive direction. And then as it goes towards that equilibrium position, you're going to hit x equals zero, which is representative of position three. Then it goes to its negative at four and comes back. Now for velocity, you can see a very similar trend. So for the maximum position at two, you're going to have zero velocity, right? Because acceleration is max, the force is max. But when it reaches the endpoints of equilibrium position, so position three, that is when we talked about how the uh, velocity is going to be maximum, right? So you see how the velocity for uh, position three is maximum, whereas the other positions, the velocity is zero. Now for acceleration, very similar trends. So when it reaches its equilibrium position, there is no acceleration. But when, when it reaches its endpoints, it has that maximum acceleration. So that's just a quick 
content review of Simple Harmonic Motion. If you guys learned something, make sure you subscribe and thank you for watching.